Good morning, BHRA. Today is April 1st, and here are your video announcements. We've had some present and past birthdays. Jordan Johnson, Blake Mao, Addie Wallace, Cameron Merrill, Marley Schmidt, Dakota Owens, Michaela Sageman, Tuff Elson, Eli McConkey, Caden Trimble, Liam Oxendine, Gavin Rafe Stack, Vivi Rufo, Cadence Bailey, Logan Hughes, Beth McMahon, Gracie Patterson, Ariana Rogers, Isaac Bennett, Hayden Wilson, Ali Garfield, and Dalton Hicks. Happy birthday. As some of you may not know, there is currently a war going on in our world. Russia has invaded Ukraine on February 24th, and here's a video on some more information. Принято решение о проведении специальной военной операции. Putin called this a special military operation, but it's clear this is a full-scale invasion. We're like in a cellar. I'm not sure if it's like deep enough to help us to survive. Russian troops and tanks have entered Ukraine on all fronts. All these cities are under attack, including the capital of Kyiv which has become Putin's main target. Many are sheltering in basements and metro stations across Ukraine. There have been hundreds of casualties, and over half a million Ukrainians have been forced to flee their homes. This is one of Europe's largest wars since World War II. Since then, Europe's map has been shaped by political alliances. But now, Putin wants to redraw Europe's map. Hey everyone, I'm here with Hannah, Cody, and Kat. And they're the students in charge of BHRA for Ukraine, and they're going to tell us a little bit more about that. Um, we're fundraising for the World Central Kitchen. It is an organization that um, tries to give like food to the people who are in a place of disaster. However, what they do differently is they um, source and hire locally, so all the food is coming from that place, and all the people are there cooking it themselves. So it's kind of helping their economy while it's in not a great of state at the moment. That's awesome. And there's a bake sale going on, I believe. Could you tell yes. us a little bit about that? Um, Friday, April 1st, we have a bake sale. It's in the morning, 7.30 to 8.10, and then also during the lunches, 6 and 7th hour. Um, everything's a dollar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And then I believe there's a raffle of some type? Uh, yes, it'll be going on till April 14th. You could get the tickets in the in Ms. Kaminsky and in the office. They're for one dollar each, or five dollars for six. And it's a blanket, I believe, correct? Yes, it's um, a Ukraine, it's a Ukraine flag blanket. Awesome, and you made that, correct? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, guys. Here's Mason with your sports update for the week. Congratulations to our boys and girls track team on winning their first meets on Tuesday, and congratulations to the girls softball team on the win against Rantoul. And the boys baseball team plays Saturday in a doubleheader. The doubleheader starts at 10 a.m. Prime will be held April 30th from 8 to 11 p.m. at Crooked Creek Whitetail Estates. Tickets go on sale next Monday, April 4th, and will be $20. However, seniors are free. If you're bringing an outside date, make sure you buy them a ticket and pick up a date request form. These can be found inside or outside the office and are due April 27th. April Fool's Day, or All Fool's Day, is the one day of the year when you are allowed to mercilessly prank your friends, family, and co-workers. How exactly did this day come about? We don't actually know for sure what started the celebration of April Fool's Day. References can be found as early as the 1500s, but these accounts were infrequent and not very detailed. The most popular theory is that it began around 1582 in France during the reformation of the calendar. Before France adopted the Gregorian calendar, they celebrated New Year's for eight days, beginning on March 25th and ending on April 1st. When they switched calendar systems, the 8th day moved from April 1st to January 1st. Because they didn't have internet, phones, social media, and a mail system, a lot of people didn't hear about this change until years later. Those that did not hear about the change continued to celebrate New Year's in April. Others refused to celebrate it out of rebellion. Those that had been informed of the change and adjusted their calendars began to make fun of these fools who were uninformed or rebellious. This harassment evolved into a tradition of playing pranks on the first day of April and then spread to other countries. Hope you all have a great day. April Fools! <laughs>